So what I have here uh, is the data from my 40% formaldehyde experiment. So I've um, got the concentrations here in percentage disinfectant, which I've just copied across from the table where I worked these out. And then I've got my absorbance readings here. But you'll see that there's an empty column labeled log 10 disinfectant. And I, I need these values because what we're going to plot is the log 10 disinfectant against the absorbance. I've used the log function on my calculator to calculate the log to the base 10 for each disinfectant concentration. And you'll notice that the values are positive uh, when the disinfectant concentration is 1% or above. But when the disinfectant concentration is below 1, then the log values are negative. So for 4.5, we have a log to the base 10 value of minus 0.3. Um, with the concentrations for your two disinfectants, some of them will be positive and some of them will be negative. If you put 0 into your calculator and ask it for log to the base 10, it's going to give you an error because there is no uh, log value for 0. However, the absorbance value, 2.1, is very important, um, and so we've recorded that in the table, and I've put a dash um, under the log to the 10 column just to remind me to make sure that we don't plot it against the zero. You'll need to plot a graph of the log concentration against the absorbance value. Um, don't try to be too clever with your axes, just go for something that's uh, easy to plot and easy to read off rather than trying to use every last square centimetre of your graph paper. So you can see that my absorbance values, uh, my maximum value is 2.1, I've got a scale going up to 2.5. Think carefully about the um, x-axis where you've got your log concentrations. Uh, if you've got minus log values, and they have to be on the left-hand side of the graph paper. It has to go from the smallest value at the left to the biggest value at the right. So I've um, plotted my points and I've hand-drawn a line of best fit uh, between the points. A couple of things you should notice. Um, first of all, I haven't joined the point with the highest concentration to the y-axis. Essentially, you don't know what happens with high, concentrations higher than this, and so just leave the gap. And secondly, I've extrapolated the line so that it crosses the x-axis. So my last point, which is point zero zero four, is so small as to essentially be zero, and within the sort of range where the spec can't read very accurately. And so it's likely that the point where the line crosses the bottom axis is in fact somewhere between my last two points, and I've extrapolated that by I. The last thing to plot on your graph is the maximum value um, that bac the bacteria you inoculated with can grow to in the conditions that you've given them. So that's tube number six where you've got no disinfectant. Now we worked out earlier that we can't work out a log to the base 10 of 0, so we can't plot it as a point on the graph. So what I've done is I have drawn a line across the top of the graph and labelled it maximum. You're asked to read two values of your graph. The ED50, which is a concentration which inhibits growth by 50%, and the MBC, minimum bacteriostatic concentration, which is the concentration which will completely inhibit the growth of the E. coli. So if we start with the ED50, we know what the maximum possible growth is. That'll give you an, an absorbance of 2.1. So half of that, 1.05. So we can read this value off our graph. Um, and the value on the x-axis, remember, will be the log of the ED50. So if the value that we read off the graph is 0 0.35, and we look up the inverse log of 0 0.35, that's 2.24. So the ED50 is 2.24%, and that is the concentration of formaldehyde, which will inhibit growth of E. coli by 50%. So the MBC is the point where your extrapolated line crosses the x-axis. So in my case, that's at 0 
We look up the inverse log of 0 0.75, that gives us 5.6. So 5.6% formaldehyde is the concentration which will completely inhibit growth of E. coli in our experiment.